Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brandon Bias from GTCheckIt.com here with a Photoshop advanced tutorial. I'm going to warn you guys right now, this tutorial actually is advanced because I'm not going to explain everything in fine detail and it's actually going to take quite a bit of time and effort on your part to get it done right. So with all that said, let's get right to it. So this is the effect that we're going to try and recreate today. It's basically a face shattering effect. And we thought it was suiting to use it on Obama because, well, you know, if you had to shatter anybody's face, whose would it be? Obama, right? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drag my effects reference down to the bottom because I'm going to be using some of these effects to copy and paste later. So if you want to go ahead and use this uh, Face Shatter PSD, then you're going to have to find it on our website. I'm sure we'll have a link in the description below. So the first thing we're going to want to take care of is making a grid on Obama's face. And to do that, we're going to have to make a new document and make the dimensions the same size as the grid that you want to make. So I'm going to go with 100 by 100. If you're using a smaller canvas, then you're going to have to dumb it down to something like 50 by 50 or even 20 by 20. So as soon as you have your dimensions ready, go ahead and hit OK. And what you're going to do is make a one pixel L shape using your single row marquee tool and fill it in with white. And then use your single column marquee tool and fill it in with white. And so you should have a one pixel white L shape right there. So as soon as you have that, go ahead and select the entire canvas and go to Edit, Define Pattern, and call it Grid, and hit OK. And we'll swap back over to our Face Shatter PSD. So we're going to make a new layer, and we're going to call it Grid. And we're going to fill it in using our Paint Bucket tool, making sure we're on Pattern. And we're going to use the pattern that we just made called Grid. So once you have that, go ahead and give it a click, and that should give you your grid for you. So as soon as you have your grid, make sure you go to your rectangular marquee tool and draw out a mask that kind of fits the shape of your character's face. And make sure you fine tune it appropriately. Okay, so as soon as you have your selection and it's actually got the grid in it nice and perfectly, go ahead and invert it and then delete the outer part that is not on Obama's face. And then go ahead and transform the grid with the warp tool so that it fits his face. Okay, so once you have your grid kind of warped to the face of whoever you're going to put this effect on, go ahead and give it an outer glow and make it a pure white, amp up the opacity to 100% and set it to color dodge. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use our pen tool to start uh, making boxes that fit the shape of the grid. And I like to do these in sets of 4 to 6. So. I'll just do a quick example real fast. So let's see, right below this eye right here, here's a box. If you want to, you know, edit the, the curve of the box, that's completely up to you. So basically, just make a couple of these random boxes. Alright, and as soon as you have uh, four to six random boxes on your grid on the right side of your character's face, go ahead and load the path as a selection. Actually, real fast, delete these other paths. Okay, and I'm also going to name this set one because this is going to be the first set of 3D boxes that I'm going to be making. So when you have your selection, go ahead and make a new layer and call it holes and fill up your holes layer with black and then go to your character's face and duplicate it so that way you can drag it up here and drag them off to the side and you've got a set of duplicated skin and we're going to put this into a group and we're going to call it set one and we're going to call this layer 
All right, and once everything is named appropriately, go ahead and duplicate your blocks layer and drag it below so that you have the copy below your original blocks layer and duplicate it 10 to 20 times. All right, and so once you have all those duplicates, go ahead and select your first one and then shift click all the way up to your uh, 20th one and zoom into 100% on your canvas. And we're gonna pan over here to see what we're doing. And basically we're gonna use our arrow key to nudge it over one. Then we're gonna deselect one of these, move it over one, and we're gonna do this for every single one. Okay, so once you have every single one of these layers nudged over one, you're gonna have a little bit of a uh, stretch mark looking thing right here, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and merge these 20 copies and we're gonna call it sides. And I'm gonna go down here to my FX reference and I'm gonna copy the layer style of these two layers. If you need the effects for these two layers, they're just going to be in the description. So that's going to be good news for you guys. Okay, so what we just did is we basically just cut out these blocks. We put them off to the side, gave them a 3D feel, and kind of gave them a little bit of an effect to make them look a little more realistic. And that was one set. So we're going to make about three or four of these. Let's get right to it.